Hi, I'm Robbie Bola with the new wide receiver coach, Guy Holiday. Love the passion we've seen the last couple of days and glad to have you here at BYU. What's your experience been like here in Provo? Oh, I mean, the people are great. You know, I've enjoyed that and I, um, you know, I, I don't have any negatives thus far. And I, I really enjoy being around the players, which is always a positive for me in any program. But this is a real pleasure because you have such high character young people. What brought you here to BYU? Because you don't have the connections as maybe a former player like some of these other new coaches do. Well, I, I think my relationships uh, with Robert and and um, and Coach Kafusi uh, that that started the process. And then, as I studied and and I've always admired the program. I, I realized it was a place that I need to be uh, and wanted to be at this time. It was uh, I had another opportunity, another place that I could have gone, but I wanted to be here, and I, I'm just overjoyed to be here. You mentioned Coach and I and Coach Kafusi. It's slowly a Polynesian takeover of the BYU football team, right? Well, you know, being, I'm only half Polynesian, so, you know, I, I bring well, another up. half, too. You know, so it's three and a half of us, no. But, um, you know, obviously our relationship, that, that, helped a lot, that helped. And then getting to know Bronco and through the interview process, I, I, for me, it's the perfect place. And it, it really encompasses all the values that I believe in as a person also. I've noticed right away in the first few minutes of seeing you on Monday that your style of coaching is very different from how Coach Cahoon was with the wide receivers. What do you bring that's unique to this position group as you coach them? You know, I, I, Coach Cahoon was a good coach, a really good football coach. Uh, yeah, and, and we all, it matters what fits your personality. And, and I'm a very demanding person and, and very up-tempo and, and, as some people would say, very intense. And uh, for me, it's really pushing a young person to be the best he can be. And then off the field, putting an arm around them and, and, and really letting them know it's not personal. Because when this is all over, when the ball stops, what matters to me more than anything is that they're successful as people. And I think you have to demand more than what they think they can give. And when you do that, you're going to push them out of their comfort zone. And that's when people improve. So what we see out here on the field, you're a different person in the locker room and in your office? Oh, I, I think the players will tell you I'm very, uh, I think most people think of me as this intimidating human being or very mean, and that's, that's not the case. Off the field, you know, I mean, I came up hard, you know, and had a lot of rough experiences. So I, I'm more open to embrace people and be sympathetic. But on the field, you know, when we cross the white lines, I'm not going to let you cheat the game. The game is the reason why I exist, and, and so I'm passionate about that, and I want young people to be passionate about that and appreciate it. I know you were at UTEP prior to this. What, how else is your background uh, in, in football leading up to now where you are here at BYU? Man, I mean, it goes back to when I was six years old when I started playing. And, um, and then as far as a coach, um, I volunteered my first year. I actually had just finished playing. And a really good friend of mine, uh, his old high school coach, had a program at Clark Atlanta University. And I went and volunteered there and went on to Tuskegee, which is the home of Tuskegee Airmen, and I uh, was the offense coordinator there. And, then on Alabama State and I actually got out of football for about two, three years and was a mortgage broker and then came back when Ron Dickerson took over at Alabama State and, and um, was there for two years. And then Gary Darnell, who was at Florida when I was in college, remembered me and I went to Western Michigan and had a chance to coach in two MAC championships and then from there to Mississippi State and Jackie Sherrill recruited me out of high school and stayed on, the, you know, for history with Sylvester Croom and him being the first African-American head coach in college football. And then a good friend of mine was at Cornell and wanted to experience the Ivy League and, and see what that was like. And so I spent uh, um, seven months there and then went on to UTEP to work for Mike Price, and who I think is an outstanding offensive mind. So for me, it was really uh, about a growth process and, and, and kind of not finding my way, but experiencing different things in different parts of the country so that I could be a more well-rounded person. You haven't stayed in one place for very long, it sounds like. Well, I've been, you know, in, in this profession and outside of BYU, when you stay five years, that's a pretty that's good a stint. Uh, I'm hoping this is it. You know, I'd like to make, uh, make this the last stop. I really admire everything that Brigham Young University stands for. So, and I was looking for that, and I think I found it, and I don't have any reason to leave unless they want me to leave. You played against BYU once at UTEP, the 2010 New Mexico Bowl. Sorry to bring that up. I know that's not a, a, a great part for, for you guys as coach, but Cody Hoffman was just a freshman that year, three touchdowns in that game. Did you Were you excited for the opportunity to coach him now as he enters his senior season? Sure I am. I mean, I've had really good success helping guys get to the next level and getting that opportunity. And I, I remember Cody, and um, 
remember seeing them score three touchdowns. And so that was the first thing I did when I came here. I wanted to embrace him. And, you know, I want to give him every opportunity to make it to the next level. So, you know, and sometimes young people don't understand why you're pushing them so hard. But when the end result is what they want, then they're real appreciative. And, and I'm really looking forward to it. Brian Logan was a cornerback for that BYU team. Your, re your receivers lit him up pretty good. I was giving him a hard time. But he mentioned that one of the things he loved about BYU was having a non-LDS coach on staff because he was an LDS. Mm -hmm. You're the only non-LDS coach on staff now. Do you feel that you have an opportunity to mentor the other non-LDS kids at BYU and help them with their experience? Yeah, I mean, I, I think uh, a lot is put into being non-LDS or LDS. See, for me, you know, I, I'm Christian. And, and the principles are the same. You know, you love people, you embrace people, and, and then you help, you help people do the right thing. And, and um, as long as God is at the head, then, you know, I don't have a problem. I think we put so much into that that we don't realize that the core value system is still the same. So, I, you know, I'm looking forward to helping any person, no matter whether it's uh, Samoan, Tongan, African-American, white, it doesn't matter to me. I mean, I'm, I'm not LDS, non-LDS. I, I just like good people. And so in the end, that's, you know, if someone needs some help, I'm going to be there. What do you like from this offense now that Robert and I has come back to help rejuvenate it? Oh, I love the fast tempo. love the fast tempo. I love the big playability. Um, and I, I, I just love the fact that we're going to be an exciting offense in the fall. And that's what I've been a part of my whole career, so I'm looking forward to carrying that on. What's your number one thing you want out of your wide receivers? If you were to pinpoint one thing that this is going to be a Guy Holiday receiving core, what would that be? When other teams look at us, they're going to say we're the toughest, most physical wideouts they've ever played against. You know, and I think that's what football is about. We're going to go out and we're going to get after some guys. It's not always about catching balls. We're going to finish in the run game and help the run game. And then at the end of the day, we're going to let the team know they need to bring a lunch pail to play BYU receivers. And that's the most important thing to me. All right. Love that. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.